Alright, so right now we're going to be looking at some of the things that you can do with your Jailbreak and iPhone 4 and some of the things that you can do with your rooted Samsung Galaxy S. Um, I'm going to be comparing some um, some of the apps you can get when you're jailbroken on the iPhone 4 and see how they compare with the apps on the Samsung Galaxy S, whether you're rooted or you're not rooted. Some of them correspond even though you might have not rooted your phone. So um, the first other jailbroken app that I'm going to be, or tweak, that I'm going to be reviewing and looking at it's going to be this thing called Summerboard Settings. So, watch that again. Swipe, and you have like a quick menu to have your 3G turned on or off, your Bluetooth, brightness, you can adjust right here without navigating to the settings menu. You have your data, your processes. So, let's say I want to kill all. free up some memory or I can turn on and off Wi-Fi it's also a dock that you can put applications in here I didn't really put anything but if you wanted like a quick dock you can put it in there Oops, turn it off or you can respring power and it'll show you the access out the Wi-Fi IP address but you also have available memory which is the amount of RAM that you have free to run applications so I'll leave that up right here but for the Samsung Galaxy S to access your settings really quick for your data you can just pull down the notification bar you can turn off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS even but you can't really disable data like that. You have to navigate through your settings app in order to do that. You have to go to Wi-Fi, or I mean wireless network settings. And then you get all this bunch of settings that you can play with. As for adjusting brightness, you can adjust brightness really quick through the power widget. But that's just going to adjust if you're in auto brightness or manual brightness. But there's no quick way to adjust brightness like there is on some board settings. Now I have the task panel widget here which can show you the available memory that you have. It can also kill your tasks just like the processes on the some board settings. So those are just the two like comparisons between the some board settings app on the iPhone 4 and the various other apps on the Samsung Galaxy S that can do the same thing. The next thing I want to walk through is this thing called Multiflow or Backgrounder. It's a multitasking, um, multitasking interface for the iPhone. So let's say I want to go to Maps. I'm gonna close that. The Safari, or. Um, Internet Explorer as this theme says it to be. Close that. And then even like camera. Okay, and then close that. Then I can go access the multitasking by... Um, you can configure it in your settings, but I have it set to this gesture. And you see that it automatically opens up like the windows of which apps are open. And I can X out. Or I can go straight to here. Doesn't really work exactly. Doesn't exactly get it to the exact moment where you pause or you exit out of the app. But it's pretty close. Like for Safari it works that way. It also works alongside the native multitasking that comes to the iPhone 4. So if I double tap you'll still have that same multitasking bar on the bottom. Where you can hold and exit. Or you can go straight to whatever app you were at before you left it. For the Samsung Galaxy S, multitasking is nothing new. It's been around for Android. For this particular instance, I'm going to hold the uh, power button. Or the menu button. And it'll bring up the currently running apps 
that are running in the background. And then you also have a task manager button. I'm not sure if you can see. You just click that. And then you can end all, or you can choose to end a specific ta um, task. And I think uh, I made a mistake telling you these are the ones that are open right now, but these are the actually the apps that were opened recently. So you can see over here, these are the app, the active applications, and only two of them are running, not all six. These are just your most recent ones that are running. You can also have a, your own package manager, APK manager. It also shows you your storage. Alright, now the next one on the list is lock info for the iPhone. You've seen this earlier. It shows you your weather. Should give me a weather forecast. There we go. Shows you weather forecast for rest of the six days. Seven day forecast. Get your notifications, your calendar, your mail, your Twitter. You can even compose your own Twitter message. Seen that before in my other video reviews. You can also access that in your home screen. So it's sort of like the Android toolbar. Or you can access it in like another app like Safari. Bring it down and you have that with you. Let me turn off Bluetooth. And if you have like a new mail or something, it can also, or the most recent one, it can also display on this, your status bar if you wish it to. For the Samsung Galaxy S, this lock info is not displaying on your like lock screen, but you get this nifty notification bar, which is probably the best in my opinion, notifications. You have, you have the pop-up notifications on your iPhone 4, but you actually have this nice notification on your like notification bar where you see, oh, I have a new voicemail. Gotta go click it. And it takes you right to the application calling your voicemail, which is really nice. You can't really do that with lock info. You can probably go... like You can reply right on there, but then if you want to actually go to application you have to exit out of this lock screen so both of them have their pros and their cons next app that you can have on your jailbreak and iphone 4 is ifile it's a file manager for your iphone it's for those people that want to see their files on the go without having it to connect it to a computer and especially with iphones like Apple is all like, oh, you can't have your iPhone as a mass storage device, we're just not going to let you. And with their Android phones, you can plug in your computer and see your files right away. But for those who just want to see it on the go, iFile is a pretty good um, thing to have. Like, I have my themes bookmarked, and this is what I mean by customizing and exchanging. Say I want, like, I only want the icons of Alien Xenomorph, then I can, like edit select all even and then do like copy and paste and like paste it onto the icons of the theme that I am using like the mod like I can paste it onto the icons here or like the UI images I can paste it and just switch out UI images of each themes of each of the themes for the Samsung Galaxy S, you have your own file manager in either Astro or My Files, which is included in the phone. This is My Files. And this is Astro. I have this in my top 10 Android apps to have. You can search for your files, have some advanced options and then yeah, oh, you also have copy and paste just like iFile on the iPhone 4 another tweak that you can have on your iPhone 4 is called Synchrosity it's S-N 
or S Y N C H R O N I C I T Y. And what it allows you to do is have your phone running while you're connected to iTunes, while it's syncing, you usually get the like, oh, it's synchronizing, don't disconnect, or like slide to cancel. And then if you slide to cancel, then you cancel the sync. But with Synchrosity, um, you can use your phone while it's syncing with iTunes, which is useful. But on the Android phone, Samsung Galaxy S, you could do that anyways while it's connected to the computer. You don't have to download an app for it in order to use your phone while it's synchronizing with the computer. Alright, and another cool tweak that you can have on your jailbroken and iPhone 4. So let's say you have a lot of apps. And you're like, I don't know where all- I just want to access this app, but I don't know what page it's on. I don't want to scroll through all the pages. Lazy, but um, this is- a tweet called page preview and you it gives you a preview of all the home pages that you have on your phone and you can easily see oh this app is on that page okay go to that page and you're there search page and it's really quick so I found that to be pretty cool for Samsung Galaxy S you have this like, for the ADW launcher that I installed, you have this kind of helicopter effect where like, oh, there's my agenda widget over there. Or there's my Pandora. So you have alternatives for the Samsung Galaxy S for your Android phone. The cool thing about the jailbreak and iPhone 4 is this other tweak called multi icon mover. I do recommend it if you want to move a lot of icons at once. So let's say I want to move all of these icons except for the folder, of course. So just select all of those and then go to a page that you want all of those folders to be in. Press the home button and well, pam, they're all there. <laughs> and it's really quick. And let's say I want to move them back. And voila, it's there. So we sort of have this little breaking news update. Um, I was supposed to be done filming for this review on Friday, but I saw this on my Twitter feed today. I thought, hey, you guys might be interested in this since we're on the topic of moving icons in a review. So what it allows you to do, it's called Gridlock on Cydia for 99 cents. This is how you spell it, Gridlock. And let me demo on my Samsung Galaxy S. This is what every Android phone has been doing for like since the first Android phone is to move your icons freely on your home page for the stock iPhone 4 or iPhone iPod Touch. If you want to move your icon freely, it's going to switch back into place over here. But with this new tweak, if you move your icon freely, it'll stay there where you want it to be without the use of eye blank, like blank icons like this or iconoclasm layouts without the use of that like you can move your icons anywhere so I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to know I encourage you guys to check it out and I'll see you back in the review anyways those are just the main tweaks that I would recommend for any jailbreak and iPhone 4 user or even rooted Galaxy S user or Android user to get and just comparing the features the jailbroken and iPhone 4 versus a rooted Samsung Galaxy S. I know this review was pretty lengthy, but I thank you guys for sticking through it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it useful. If you have any more requests that you want me to compare, then just leave me a message or a comment in the comment section below. And if you liked it, then thumbs up for the video or rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.